EasyWare Plus Quick Start Guide, Part 2, Create a Project. This section guides you through creating a project, exploring the interface, and saving your new project. When Part 2 is complete, you will have a new project saved on your PC, ready to configure, and you will have a basic understanding of the layout of the interface, so you know where to look in the following videos. We're going to select New to create a new project, and we will select the HMI 5121P, Landscape, and Use Template. This is the system's parameter settings box. We're not going to add any PLCs at this time. If we were going to, you would click the New and select your PLC type, maybe an Allen Bradley Control Logics, but not in this example. So I'm going to hit Cancel and then just hit OK. And we have a new project. The EasyWare interface can be configured to use user preferences, such as which toolbars are visible and where they are placed. The default configuration uses three main regions. Region 1 at the top is referred to as the menu area. The menu area includes the top menu bar and the default area new toolbars are added to when selected from the view menu. Toolbars can be moved around. In the view menu and toolbar, you can turn off or on new toolbar menus. Let's turn on the edit menu. And here we have the new edit menu. And we can turn off the IIoT menu. IIoT menu is over here. And when I turn it off, it goes away. Region 2 on the left is the window tree. The window tree has multiple tabs and display options to show the windows in the project. The window tree is currently showing all the windows in this project as an object list. It can also be changed to show it as a window preview. The web tab offers information about Maple Systems and the info at maplesystems.com email. The Address tab allows you to monitor addresses within your project. Region 3 is the main screen. The main screen is where most of the work is done in EasyWare. All currently open windows are displayed in the main screen, and most placement and modification of objects is initiated here. To the far right are library shortcuts. These can be closed and reopened from the View menu. Before proceeding any further, let's save the project and give it a name. I'm going to name the project Quick Start Video and click Save. With Part 2 complete, you now have a new project created and saved on your PC. You know how to create your own projects when you're ready and you've been introduced to the basic layout of the interface. In Part 3 of this video series, we will walk you through creating new windows and adding buttons for the operator to navigate between them.